welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Vanessa and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of heat energy. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 2. In this question, a metal bar was formed by joining two metal ships together. After being heated, one metal ship expanded more than the other. From this diagram, we can see that the shaded metal strip is longer than the unshaded metal strip. Why is this so? This means that the shaded metal strip must have gained heat faster from the heat source and expanded more than the unshaded metal strip. Why do you think the metal strip expands at different rates? Let's understand why is that so. Since the metal strips were heated under the same flame, the difference in the rate of expansion of the metal strips must be due to the heat conductivity of the materials. For the metal strip that expanded more, what can we conclude about the heat conductivity of the material? This means that the metal is a better conductor of heat. Whereas the metal strip that expands less is a poorer conductor of heat. With this understanding, the question is asking us to arrange metals starting from the metal that expands the most to metal that expands the least when heated. Let's label the metals in the diagrams here using the key provided. For metal bar 1, what is this metal at the top? The metal at the top is metal P and the metal at the bottom is metal Q. For metal bar 2, the metal at the top is metal Q and the metal at the bottom is metal R. Let's do the same for metal bar 3 too. This is metal P and this is metal R. Looking at metal bars 2 and 3, we can see that metal R expanded more than both metals P and Q. So what can we say about the rate of expansion for metal R? This means that metal R expands the most out of the three metals. And if we were to look at the diagram of metal bar 1, we can see that metal Q expands more than metal P. This means that R must expand the most, followed by Q and then P which expands the least. Hence, the correct answer should be one. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!